governments of Kenya and Tanzania are holding a series of forums to sensitize members of the public living along the two countries' common border on a joint reaffirmation exercise. The sensitization forums are aimed at ensuring peaceful coexistence among the communities bordering each other and clarity on which side of the boundary they reside. <laughs> Speaking at the forum, Kajiado County Commissioner Felix Watakila emphasized the need to visibly mark the boundary by erecting boundary pillars. Since government has been in Uganda and Kenya, we have been able to move on. 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 He was accompanied by officers from the Kenya International Boundaries Office, top county security personnel, and lands officers from the Tanzanian side. The involvement of local communities is a key aspect of this exercise as they will be responsible for providing labor and construction materials for the pillars. Representatives from Tanzania also reaffirmed their commitment to a transparent and collaborative process. They emphasized that residents accidentally living on the wrong side of the border will not be evicted, but instead given the opportunity to choose their preferred side of jurisdiction. Adequate compensation will be provided if necessary. Moja kuwa ni kuweka kwa, kwa ajili ya kutafsiri zile alama zinatakiwa zikae wapi lakini mbili ni kuweka alama zenye kuonekana Julius Rotich, a surveyor from the Kenya International Boundaries Office shed light on the construction of the new pillars Tutaandikisha sasa agreement yetu ya serikali ya Kenya na serikali ya Tanzania Hiyo agreement ndio itakuwa inatuelekeza Mile tunafanya kwa mipaka zetu. Wewe sasa utatuambia kwa hii nyumba yako ambayo imekatwa na, na laini. Utatuambia kama wewe ni Tanzania, tuku tukupeleke Tanzania. Alafu tukukompensate uende Tanzania. These countries are encouraging their citizens to continue coexisting in harmony during and after the reaffirmation exercise. Joan Junge for Lunchtime News.